Let's look at how Smart Charts helps you simplify approach charts. For our example flight, we are expecting the ILS 30 center into KIWA. Opening up the chart, you will find the buttons to make selections for customizing the information and to access additional information at the top. Just like the departure and arrival charts we looked at, the approach minimums and field elevation are displayed underneath, followed by the plan and profile view of the procedure. We recommend working through the selection options left to right for a consistent workflow. Let's start with our minimums button. We will then make selections from top to bottom in this window to get the correct approach minimums. First, select the approach category, B for our example flight. The speed and knots for each category is provided for your convenience. Next, select the type of minimums to be used. For this ILS approach, the options are ILS, localizer only, and circling. Available options vary based on the type of approach. For example, an RNAV approach will provide options such as an LPV and LNAV. We will select the ILS option since this is what we are expecting. Below that, adjustment factors for the minimums of this particular approach are listed. Instead of manually applying adjustments to your minimums using the NOPS table, and the notes on conventional approach charts simply make the applicable selection for each of the listed adjustment factors and smart charts will automatically calculate the minimums for your flight. For pilots who are curious about how smart charts perform these adjustment calculations, you can view them by opening the chart menu and selecting minima adjustment details. This window shows you the minimums prior to the adjustment, how each individual adjustment selected changes the minimum, and the final value that includes all the adjustments cumulatively. It is important to note that Smart Charts currently only accounts for published minimums. If the minimums are temporarily altered by a NOTAM, you must select the correct minimums and apply corrections outside of Smart Charts. To do this, first open the minimums window and apply all selections and adjustments as demonstrated. Then, open the minima adjustment details mentioned earlier. Replace the original minima shown in the window with the NOTAM values. Then, follow along with the selected adjustments and apply them to the NOTAMed minimum outside of Smart Charts. Next is the transition button. Use this to select the initial approach fix or feeder fix where you will begin your approach. And route segments not applicable to you will be filtered out. Most approaches will offer vectors to final option as well, where only waypoints along the final approach course will be shown. For our example flight, let's select the Dalkey transition. The details button brings up additional information. Relevant COM frequencies are provided and you can tap on it to see a legend of the symbols. A briefing section containing six information boxes summarizing key parameters for the approach is next. Missed approach icons and the textual descriptions, transition altitude, general notes, and MSA or TAA information can also be found. At the bottom of the details window, you will find the amendment version, effective date, and expiration date of the procedure. Just like the departure and arrival procedures, in case the chart is out of date, a red banner will be shown for your awareness without needing to open the details window. The Profile View button toggles the profile view on and off. Please note, if you are viewing the chart in landscape orientation, the plan view and profile view cannot be viewed simultaneously. You will need to switch between the two using this Profile View button. Individually access the comms, brief, and missed approach sections from the details window for quick reference using these buttons. Just like the departure and arrival charts, the plan view of the approach is drawn to scale and geo-referenced. Minimum altitude, magnetic course, and distance for applicable route segments are provided. The MSA or TAA is also shown to scale. Waypoints containing speed or altitude constraints will be highlighted in magenta and cyan respectively if the plan view is zoomed out such that the constraint labels are no longer visible. For route segments that overlap, 
such as the outbound and inbound segments of a procedure turn, one of the segments will be offset, along with the label showing the minimum altitudes. Starting and ending waypoints, magnetic course, and distance of that segment. Route segments shown in orange are for the missed approach procedure. If a circling approach is selected in the minimums window, the plan view depicts the circling area to scale based on your approach category. Circling restrictions will be shown as well. Combined with georeferencing, this can be a great tool for you to maintain situational awareness when circling. An industry first feature of smart charts is that even the profile view is georeferenced. When connected to a compatible data source, it can depict the aircraft's GPS derived altitude. The profile view is also drawn dynamically, so it refreshes when a different minimums or transition selection is made. On the lateral scale of the profile view, the included waypoints may change when a different transition is selected. If the selected transition contains a procedure turn, the procedure turn will not be included in the two-scale depiction. Instead, the procedure turn segment is shown in gray with the not to scale notes. Georeferencing on the profile view is not available when flying in this area. At the bottom, you will see the terrain and obstacles along the approach course, along with two lines of distance information. The upper line is the leg distance of each segment. The bottom line is the cumulative distance to the threshold. Occasionally, the entire profile view may not fit on the screen. In this case, simply scroll to the left or right by swiping on the profile view. On the vertical scale, you can see the minimum being depicted as a decision altitude when ILS straight in is selected, and as a minimum descent altitude when circling or localizer only is selected. Any adjustments to your decision altitude or MDA based on your selections in the minimums window will also be shown here. Available vertical guidance is shown after the final approach fix. For this approach, if the ILS is selected, the glide slope is displayed. When localizer only is selected, the glide slope is replaced by the advisory descent angle. The two-scale depiction of the profile view can assist you with visualizing the descent profile. For example, let's look at the ILS-6 approach into Teterboro. With smart charts, you can easily see that you will miss the mandatory altitude at Dandy if you inadvertently intercept the glide slope too early. This may not be easily understood when using conventional approach charts. Just like the other types of charts we looked at, here's the button to reset the chart. This can be a convenient way to modify your decluttering selections for situations such as a flight plan change or getting ready for a different flight. The buttons to view relevant notums and to revert to the conventional chart are also available. You will also see this flight plan mismatch caution if the approach you are viewing is not the one specified in your flight plan. Now that we have explored instrument approaches on smart charts, let's see how it can help us choose a new approach should we need to deviate from our original flight plan. Let's assume that the winds have shifted and we can now expect landing to the southeast instead. We can use smart charts to help us find a new instrument approach. Start by navigating to the Destination Airport's chart binder. When using smart charts, you will see the Show With Minima button for the Instrument Approach section of the chart binder or airport's page. Selecting it shows the lowest published minima, both height and visibility or RVR, and if available, the approach lighting system for each approach without having to open the chart. Tap on a field to select the sorting criteria. The approach category for your aircraft can also be selected. We can use this to quickly compare the metrics of the available approaches. At a quick glance, we can see that in this case, RNAV 12 Center offers a lower minimums than RNAV 12 Right. We hope you see how smart charts can help improve your IFR experience by removing unused information and reducing the amount of required manual calculations. Just remember to use a consistent workflow to make your customization selections and you will be able to enjoy declutter charts customized for you.